Yeah, I came in with a saw. Ooh, yeah, I came in with a saw. Yeah, bitch, I flare red raw. Yeah, bitch, I flare red raw. Yeah, yeah, I came in with a saw. Ooh, yeah, I came in with a saw. Ooh, bitch, I flare red raw. Yeah, bitch, I flare red raw. Yeah, walk in the trail like a boss. Hi everyone, my name is Gary. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to edit your Minecraft video in Sony Vegas Pro. I'm using Sony Vegas Pro 14 if you can see right there. And I made a little montage to show you how I do it. So it's easier for me to know what I should uh, say because I'm not very good at this. But yeah, I'll show you guys how I made the video that you see in the beginning of the video so first you can import your clip by clicking here you click this and go search um, your video in any folder or file that you put it. and it will go here also on your timeline it's automatically will be here and then you can go you can cut the clip so I'll show you example if you want to cut the split just right click and uh, click split or you just press S the key S if you want to mark you want to use marker press M marker this is what I use to sync uh, the audio with the, with the video so at the very beginning of the video i put my name i put my name on it and it has a uh, zoom in zoom out effect so i use as blur marker you need Sapphire plugin for this so i use this and at the very beginning you can just copy my setting for at the very beginning i i click here z z this um i click here and put 0 0.250 i go forward five frames one two three four five and don't forget to check uh i mean click on this so it will sing here and here um then i put 0 0.5 i go five more one two three four five I put 0 0.85 then I go 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 then I put 1 then for the zoom in it's the same but it's backwards it's in reverse so yeah it just I can, I can show you 0 0.25 3 4 5 hello Four five zero point five one two three four five zero point eight point zero point eight five one two three four five. That I didn't put one here because I don't want it to look very st like still doesn't move. So I I make it like this so it will look more life I guess. And then. I also uh, put fade in this you, you just at the top corner of your clips just drag it like this yeah you can also change the, the graph then I go to the next clip I put levels effect and as blue more curve as blue more curve is the same I do it like the beginning of beginning part of the my name the text and the levels i use it for the bright effect so yeah as you can see right there it, it, from bright to like non bright go to video effects tab and go to levels uh yeah here levels put the default one here and then i click animate here at the first frame i put it at very end and i just drag this when until when i want it to stop i just put it at one the default so yeah 
and then the next thing I think I rotated it. No, this one I slow mo slow the clips. To slow the clips, you just have to go to the side of your clips, like at very end, and press Control and drag it. So yeah, uh, it will stretch. Uh, you can also do that by clicking properties and go to playback playback rate. The lower the number, the slower it is. So yeah, after the slow part, in the slow more clips, I put S blue more curve and I put rotate effect. Uh, I started at the very begin. Uh, last at the end of the part because it's easier for me I put 60 you can just copy and I go 5 frames back 1 2 3 4 5 I put 30 5 frames back 1 2 3 4 5 10 and then I go 10 more frames 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and I put 0 now it will have the slow in and slow out um, animation as you can see right here it's slow and then it's sp speed also smooth at the same time I do it the same on here but I, it still have the 555 five, five and 10 I think 15 this one is 15 um, for at the very start of the second clip for the transition I put negative 90 on the rotate part don't forget to click this I go 5 frames forward 1 2 3 4 5 I put 40 negative 40 5 frames 1 2 3 4 5 negative 20 5 frames 1 2 3 4 5 I put 5 and then I go 15 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 I put zero as you can see right there it looks so good then over here on this part as you can see I have this effect yeah I use wave and invert you don't need the software plugin for this um, I go to wave uh, on video effects tab go to the very bottom there's a wave I put reset to none put it here and then I click animate over here that's animate button over here click it and then I um, press this add keyframe here and over over here at the marker I put I, I also still reset to none so I just press click the add keyframe button and I go a few forward a few frame forward I put that stamp play the preset uh, called large I use that and then I just go at the very the end very end of the clips and put uh, reset to none again and then I use invert from from here I put it at zero I also anim I animate it click here and then I drag it all the way to the left I, I go this over here the same as the wave where I put the large preset on and I just drag all the way to the right of the effects and on the on the end of the clips I put the invert at zero again and over here I use TV simulator it's also over here you don't need uh, the software plugin for this uh, so I I use vertical sync okay, I click reset to 9 and drag it to the clips 
and I click animate over here that's uh, animate button over here and I go right around here add keyframe and I just go I just drag the vertical sync to wherever I want until I think it's good then I put the fade out effect I don't know if it's called effects but I just yeah it's fade out so we'll go uh, dark and then I put fade in on the next clip and then I put dissolve shape transition is also from the sapphire plugin uh, as you can see right there check to do this you have two different clips right you drag the second clips at the start of the second clips right? you just drag it until it become like this you go to transition go to dissolve shape and drag it to here you can see right there it it works like that and the that this one very easy just do that and then and then I put velocity over here um I put velocity right here insert remove envelope and velocity and I put like I don't even count how many frames of the gap I just double click this to add point like that and then I uh the end of the clip also I double click and drag it all the way up but not too far because it will look so fast and then I go to the next clip also put the velocity at the very start I double click no I didn't I didn't double click it's already there and I drag it all the way up go a few frames forward and double click here and put it on 30% yeah it looks good because I have 120 FPS clips but if you have 60 FPS clips just uh, double click and right click it set to 50% for velocity and then I go to next marker I put the velocity again and also in this clip I have as blue more curve and film effects on the film effect is this this one as you can see the black and white and the particles i just blow more curve to to do mini zoom in like this look yeah it zoom in and then zoom in again it, it doesn't see much but i like to do it you can copy it i go to like on the beat that I mark I go back 10 second uh, 10 frames I'm sorry 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 I put one here don't forget to click animate then on the marker I put 0 0.85 and then I go at the very end of the clip I put 0 0.25 5 frames backward 1 2 3 4 5 0 0.5 0 frame backward 5 frame backward I mean sorry 1 2 3 4 5 oh 6 7 8 9 10 oh it's 10 and I put 0 0.8 because I put 0 0.85 here so now it will look a lot better and then I put another let's blow more curve with the zoom out effect it's the same from before and at the end of the clips I use shift X as you can see it looks uh, seamless I think that's what you call it um, I go shift X I click this I go I mean I go f uh, at very end of the clip I click this I put 0 0.5 5 frames backward 1 2 3 4 5 0 0.25 and 
and then I go 10 backward 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 I put 0 and at the next clip also the same but it's negative so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 negative 0 0.25 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 0 and what else that's I don't remember oh, this just another zoom in and zoom out effect also if you do the like this and drag here on your second clip drag it to the first clip it will do this but if you don't put any transition over here it will just fade like that yeah that just how I do it most most of my video I just use this this effects and if you want this black bar uh, go create a new layer by right clicking this and insert video track and then after you get the video track go to media generators and go uh, scroll all the way down to solid color click white drag it over here and drag duration of the white solid color is the same as your video and you crop it like this and the part and go on this green thing compositing and then go to multiply in bracket mask it will give you the black bars without touching your effects if you have any question just comment down below and also thank you for uh, almost 30 likes on the last video you guys are insane i'm very grateful um yeah i'm also almost at 300 sub thank you so much for everything if you want more tutorial some or maybe you can suggest me how to do this type of video to make you guys more understandable yeah you can comment down below add me on discord if you want if you want like, if you want to ask in private thank you for watching leave a like